Today we are reading Summary of the Lofu's Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, Summary of the Investigation Records by the Judge of the Ten Lords Commission regarding the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. As we are all well aware, following the destruction of the Ambrosial Arbor by the Arbiter's Divine Arrow and how it was discarded by the people, the Alchemy Commission and everything it stood for underwent a profound transformation. However, over time, we started neglecting the perils of the past, despite being long-life species who retain memories. The reallocation of power from the Alchemy Commission to other organizations was never fully complete, and we have lacked in monitoring and correcting the behavior of the Alchemy Commission's members. These oversights were the fundamental cause of the crisis surrounding the Arbor's Resurrection. A significant portion of the apprehended Disciples of Sanctus Medicus in this operation were affiliated with the Alchemy Commission. Our inquiries among innocent members of the Alchemy Commission revealed an atmosphere permeated by nostalgia for past authority and status, coupled with discontent with the current status quo, and a sympathy toward Sanctus Medicus and its mastermind, Don Shu. The deep-rooted origins of the Sanctus Medicus scourge must not be underestimated. From the accounts of her accomplishments, Don Shu appeared remarkably virtuous, even considered exemplary among the heroes of the Xinzhou. She authored medical texts, formulated prescriptions, and received numerous accolades. Following the banishment of the previous Cauldron Master of the Commission, Yunhua, amidst a dispute regarding the Vijayadara, Don Shu assumed practical leadership of the Alchemy Commission in the Lofu. If not for this incident, she might have become the actual Cauldron Master of the Commission. I am aware that the other six charioteers want to see a Lofu Alchemy Commission without a nominal head, perhaps believing it is the only way to ensure that the Commission stays harmless. However, it is precisely within the context of a leaderless Alchemy Commission that nefarious leaders like Don Shu can emerge. My assistants and I have thoroughly examined all administrative documents of the Alchemy Commission spanning the past 70 years. The records of Don Shu's inhumane experiments and her correspondence with suspected Vijayadara preceptors indicate that this incident was not an impulsive rebellion by individuals masquerading in the name of an ancient cult, as it may seem, but rather a meticulously organized conspiracy. To prevent further turmoil, I implore the Ten Lords to issue a decree for further dissolution and monitoring of the Alchemy Commission to apprehend and interrogate the Vijayadara preceptors implicated in this incident and recall the former head Yunhua for further investigations. The Ten Lords Commission does not have the authority to intervene in the appointment of government officials. Let these six charioteers decide on Yunhua on their own. As for the Vijayadara, there is also very little we can do. As a situation is already turbulent enough, it would be unwise to escalate the conflict at this point. Besides, the suspects have already been surfaced and have been identified, have they not? Anya, Judge of the Interrogation Division.